uh, Tim Alexander, our resident poet, I uh, just found out this morning, uh, I talked with him and he is not able to be here today. Uh, but I wanted to share a poem that is actually a hymn, and if you want to turn to it, uh, it's number 470 in your hymnal. Uh, this is not a hymn we sing all that often. In fact, I, I don't know if I've ever sung it uh, as a hymn out of our hymnal. Uh, but the words of this hymn, which were written uh, back in the 1600s, that was a while ago, right? Uh, I think are so beautiful. And on this day when we're thinking and reflecting a lot upon love, uh, our love for God, our love for each other, uh, and God's love for us. Um, I love the text of this hymn, this poem, because it says, and this has always kind of, I guess, bothered me a little bit, that when people uh, say they love God because they just want to stay out of hell. <laughs> Well, I want to stay out of hell, too, but uh, that doesn't really seem like love to me. And uh, this poem kind of addresses that. My God, I love thee, not because I hope for heaven thereby, nor yet because if I love not, I must forever die. Thou, O oh my Jesus, Thou didst me upon the cross embrace. For me didst bear the nails and spear and manifold disgrace. Then why, O oh blessed Jesus Christ, should I not love Thee well? Not for the sake of winning heaven, nor of escaping hell. Not with the hope of doing <coughs> Ought, not seeking a reward, but as thyself has loved me, O everlasting Lord, so would I love thee, dearest Lord. And in thy praise will sing, because thou art my loving God and my eternal King. Amen. Amen. Let us worship now for the receiving of our tithes. 